What is going on everybody and welcome to an update to the uh, Python Plays Grand Theft Auto series. Also sort of uh, an addition to the object detection tutorials that we've been covering. So uh, a prerequisite basically for this, uh, the next few videos is going to be the object detection um, API with TensorFlow. So I just released a tutorial series on that. So if you need to, you can go to Python Programming Net. You should be able to just search for object and uh, you'll find the TensorFlow Object Detection API tutorial series here. Um, you'd probably want to get at least through the like one and two. Um, after at part three, we start tracking custom objects, which is super cool, but uh, we're not going to be doing any custom objects in this series. So, or this little batch of videos anyways. So really you just need to do part one and two probably. Anyway, that's it for um, that. And let's go ahead and get into it. So what I'm going to be starting with here is the uh, that basically like the IPython notebook tutorial code. I've output that. Uh, I just went you know file save as vehicle detector.py, and that just gives me um, it in a Python script so I can work there because I don't really like Jupyter Notebook. But if you want to stay in Notebook, you can do that too. So uh, the first things uh, that we're going to do is we're going to just kind of clean this up a little bit. So we're going to be using um, Basically, since we're going to be playing Grand Theft Auto, we're going to be grabbing the screen via Grand Theft or uh, via our grab screen function that we wrote for the uh, Python Play series, um, and we're not going to be using matplotlib at all. So what we can do is, is just get rid of the matplotlib import. We don't need to do this magic stuff. Whoops. And then we can also like clean up the lines, stuff like that. Uh, we do need these things. Um, if you don't have the model already downloaded, you should leave this in and, and run it at least once, I suppose. But if you followed my instructions and you followed the tutorials leading up to this, um, you've already had that model, so you can just download that. I'm just going to keep cleaning up a little bit, some helper code. Um, and then in the detection, we don't really need to detect any of this stuff, so we can remove the images there and the image size. We're not really worried about that. And then down here, I'm just going to remove this plot stuff. And that should be good enough. Just kind of going to clean things up slightly. So um, so our goal here is to just get this working in Grand Theft Auto. So can we just use the object detection API in Grand Theft Auto to detect objects? Because so far up to this point, I've shown how to do it on images. I've shown how to do it via your webcam. And now I'm going to show you guys how we can do it um, in a game. You don't have to have Grand Theft Auto for this, but the more realistic the game, the better. Um, or you can just, I suppose, just watch and follow along. But uh, you don't have to use Grand Theft Auto. Anything that's fairly realistic should work. Um, so what we're going to do to grab the screen is to use grab screen from the Python or PyGTA5 on GitHub. So that's just github.com slash syntax slash PyGTA5. Um, I'll try to remember to put a link in the description. If I forget, uh, somebody can remind me. Uh, otherwise, you can just go to github.com, yeah. <laughs> the URL I just said. So go ahead, go there, uh, get grab screen, save it. You can just go to raw and s click save as, uh, and then save that in the working directory. And once you have that, we can go up to the very top, and we're going to go from grab screen import grab underscore screen, and then we're going to also import CV2. Now. Um, what we're going to do is come down into this kind of like main, this is like the main block of code basically that starts the session, runs the graph and then iterates through the images basically where it actually runs the graph, starts the session. Anyways, um, rather than for image and blah, 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 we're actually just going to wow true this because we're just, we just want to keep going forever. Um, and then rather than image equals, you know, open the image path and then converting it to image numpy. We're actually just going to basically do this. We're just going to say, um, we can say screen equals cv2.resize. And then we're going to say uh, grab underscore screen. And then we'll just we'll say the region. Um, and we're just going to hard code this. For me, that's going to be 0, 40. And I'll explain this in a moment. Uh, 780, 745. Um, and then we're just going to resize that to be about 800 by 450. Just so it's not huge. 
Um, at least on my GPU, I actually could pass through this full screen and um, wouldn't run into memory issues. But basically, the smaller we can get away with this, the faster it's going to run because this screen here is what we're actually gonna be running the object detection against. And so the bigger, basically the way the object detection works, anything with like the bounding boxes works, is it segments out like frames of, not frames, uh, like squares on the image. So you've got this you know, image like this, and then it goes like little squares, and it, well actually, well it depends on which one you're using, but probably it starts with like maybe bigger squares and then it starts shifting them down basically. But, or it'll start with little and go bigger. But anyways, it just, let's say it just does some boxes. It does box and then it shifts, 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 shifts. And each time it's trying to detect is this object in this box. And then it just keeps kind of shrinking that box until it's like, no, nope, we don't see that object anymore, <laughs> right? And so the smallest box that we could come up with uh, that still detects that object, that must be the bounding box for that object. So that's a fairly processing intensive pro process um, to, to, to keep shifting over and over and over and over and keep shrinking that box. So the less space that we have to do that on, the better. So um, anyway, I'm gonna go with 800 by 450 uh, and that's still like a 16-9 aspect ratio. Um, and then <clears throat> this is actually already in um, NumPy format, but <laughs> I'm just going to say image underscore numpy because we still want to convert this because right now it's in uh, it's in BGR format. So we're just going to say cv2 dot convert uh, color and we're going to convert the color of screen to cv2 dot uh, color. Is it cv2 dot convert color cv2 dot color underscore BGR two R G B. I think that's right. Anyway, um, I'm just doing this to keep the naming conventions. I mean, you can make this better. <laughs> it shouldn't be called image on pie, really. But anyway, um, I'm, I'm just going to stick with that. So after all this, we can come down here. And like this was after the visutil. Vis um, this is where we're going to enter new code. So and in fact, this is probably really small. Let me make this a little bigger. Configure. Huge. All right. Now, um, so this is what we've been writing. Let me see if that could, right here. Anyway, um, coming back down here, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, do a cv2.mshow, and we're just gonna show that window, we're just gonna call it window basically, and it's gonna be cv2, um, actually we've already resized here. So let's just show screen. We don't need to resize it again. So show screen. And uh, then what we're gonna do is the if cv2 dot weight key camel case that uh, 25 and zero x f f equals ordinal uh, whoops q. That's an if statement. There we go. Uh, cv2 dot destroy all windows and break okay so that's all of our code i'm pretty sure and now we're ready to actually run and um, test that so i'm going to go ahead and boot up uh, grand theft auto and uh, see if that works so i'm going to pause while i'm booting up grand theft auto so you don't have to sit through that Okay, so it's actually loading up. You could probably hear it in the background, but I, I just noticed that we're, we're in showing screen rather than image uh, NumPy. We'll want to definitely change that, otherwise we wouldn't see anything. Anyway, pausing again as I load the game some more. Maybe, can't get it to pause. All right, so uh, we've somehow detected a bicycle there, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, ignore that. Let's see if the other menus have anything interesting. Oh, we've got a television here. Probably, I think it says TV. I can't tell it was off screen. Anyway, enough of that. So uh, there we have uh, some detection going on right now. We've got some people over here. Well, maybe a person. We do have some people over here, but it also detected these as people. <laughs> anyway, there's some people definitely over here. Um, I'm getting some frame drops. I'm not sure how much longer I'll be able to record this before we die. 
Um, but yeah, we've got some cars over here. Um, I think it also should detect the traffic lights. Yeah, at least one of them is detected, kind of bouncing around there. But it does have uh, the ability to detect them. These are, sorry for my Skype. These are pretty uh, bad. You know, this doesn't totally look like a traffic light. I almost wonder too if, if the code cannot pause this to save my life. I'm just trying to mute my Skype. <laughs> Fine. I'll do it this way. Anyway. Um, what an amateur. Is this like his first time recording? Because <laughs> he's got Skype coming in. Anyway, um, I kind of wonder, because a lot of this stuff, if you if you change your angle, it detects, it like helps the detection. Like, so I wonder if I was viewing you straight on. But that would be kind of silly to have object detection for traffic lights at level with a traffic light. Anyway, um, person in a motorcycle. Okay, so that's enough for now. Um, at least we, you can see that we've got it working and all that. Um, in the next tutorial, what we're going to actually do is we're going to, while in a vehicle, man, the frames are killing me. It's actually, usually I don't get this bad frame rate. Um, I think it's because I'm recording. Um, so hopefully, hopefully the recording's not totally horrible. Uh, anyway... Uh, we're going to actually go into a car and detect other vehicles on the road and then work on how do we calculate the distance of other vehicles. And then after we end up doing that, um, the next thing basically for collision detection and stuff like that, um, or collision avoidance, hopefully. Um, after that, what we're going to go ahead and do is, uh, since this is Grand Theft Auto, uh, I figure we should uh, write some code to steal a car. So, so that's what we're going to be doing in the coming videos. If you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever up to this point, uh, feel free to leave them below. Hopefully you're getting decent frame rates and hopefully you're not recording at the same time. But anyways, pretty cool. It's pretty cool that GTA is realistic enough that we can actually detect things. Like I wonder if I if I loaded up like San Andreas if it if it would uh, if it would detect remotely as well. <laughs> um, the other thing I will say is I've made custom bed. <laughs> I've made custom detectors uh, for uh, Grand Theft Auto, like based purely off Grand Theft Auto data, um, and it, it works much better if you make a custom detector. But this little object detection out of the box actually works pretty well, um, and really does get better frames than it's getting right now. It's just because I'm recording. Anyways, uh, that's it. Questions, comments, leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.